Hey everyone, I'm James Mitchell and I'd just like to give you a short demo of an interface that I've been working on. It's called Pi Camera 2 Web UI Lite. Pi Camera 2 is a Python library which interfaces with the LibCamera image stack that controls the Raspberry Pi camera module. Pi Camera 2 Python library is maintained by Raspberry Pi and contributors. Uh, this is just a web UI interface for the Pi Camera 2 library. And we can go into the demo right now. This is a live feed to the left. Um, it's running uh, off of a Pi 4 with the V3 camera module. It's, it is live, so I can put my hand in front. You can see that it's, it's there. Um, I also have another feed running just to show the differences. Uh, this is the HQ camera on a Raspberry Pi 2, uh, sorry, Raspberry Pi 0 version 2. Put my hand in front there, you can see there. It's a little bit slower in performance, uh, but I find it still very usable, and it's a good use case to see that the Raspberry Pi Zero is supported. Uh, right, so back to the V3 camera, because it has a bit, a bit more uh, cool settings that we can manipulate here. So on the right-hand side, you can see that there's some groupings for orientation, autofocus, exposure, white balance, and brightness, contrast. We'll go through them and have a look at what we can do. Um, as you can see, the camera is upside down, so we can flip the um, orientation of the image and now we can have it the right way up. Um, it takes a second to um, make those changes because it has to shut the feed down, do the flip and then restart the feed. But the other settings that you're gonna see are all live. So whenever you manipulate them, the settings um, adjust automatically. And now it's gone really weird with the light outside, but hopefully we can still get a good demo here. Um, right, so autofocus mode is yeah basically what it is it's autofocus uh, because the v3 camera module has a little motor in it for um, autofocus then we can now manipulate that um, it's now bringing our little raspberry pi guy here in front into focus if we want to set it to manual again it will go into lens lens position zero which is basically one end of the scale of where the lens could go and we can manipulate that setting here and then we can bring mr pimeroni there at the background who's doodly holding a raspberry pi uh, Lego brick and um, we can bring him into focus or we can then go back and bring the guy in front in focus or both of them really in relative focus. Um, I think there's a bit of a bokeh there. That's why uh, the guy in the background is out of focus. But yeah, I mean, you can sort of mess around with that. I'm going to leave it in continuous right now because I want the guy in front in focus. Um, there's gain and exposure settings. So once I enable this um, algorithm, you can see it already changed because it's an autofocus, uh, sorry, not autofocus, auto exposure and auto gain. So it basically automatically sets something and now we can sort of manipulate those. We can change maybe the exposure compensation. We can change exposure time, meterings, modes, flicker mode, exposure mode. Um, so we can change it to long exposure if we wanted to. It doesn't really change anything here right now, but um, there might be a use case for that, uh, depending on what you need. And um, we can also manipulate the white balance. So if I put the white balance algorithm on, it then therefore changes, it automatically changes to um, what it thinks the white balance should be, but we can also manipulate that as well and change it to whatever we want it to be. So if I put it to cloudy, it'll turn quite orange. And then if I put it back to auto, it will make it look a bit more normal. Um, then there's also brightness and contrast, so we can go in here and turn it off or make it really crazy um, and really mess around with these settings if we want to. Um, but I think I'll change that back to one at the moment. So this is like more or less off. Right, so there we can actually manipulate the camera settings in the live sort of setting. So the scenario here is if you're in a headless mode with um, the Raspberry Pi and you don't have a screen or the screen is of poor resolution and you can't really see the image very well, here you can bring the camera into a web interface and you can see um, the feed directly and you can, on your laptop or even your phone if you've got that connected um, into the same network, you can use the interface that way. Um, and it will allow you to be able to manipulate the camera live without having to go back and forth and changing settings in Python. Um, we can also take an image here 
I'll take a couple right now. Maybe put one my hand in it so you can see that it is, is actually live and it is taking pictures. And instead of when you're in headless mode, you would have to transfer those images to your laptop or in a, whatever device you're using to be able to view those images. With uh, Pi Camera 2 Web UI Lite, there comes a little image gallery where you can see there's my hand. Um, and you've got an image gallery of the pictures that you've actually been taking. As you can see, I've already been trying to do this uh, demo before. Um, but yeah, here you can view the image, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, or you can uh, download it or you can delete the image. Um, but it's very basic, very light. And then there's also an about page, which gives you information um, about this tool, um, where to get updates, and also what's under the hood, what's making this actually work. So yeah, thanks very much for taking the time. I'll have a link to the GitHub page in the description down below. And yeah, thank you very much for your time. And I hope that when you get around to using this tool that you have as much fun as I have had building it. Thank you very much. Bye.